Who is that supposed to fit? They made Trump Foundation three, and y'all lost it on Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. <laughs> Oh yeah, y'all didn't notice that. It, Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. Like, mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's where it is Zach here. Welcome or whatever, you know. We like inclusive things here. We like to be beautiful, creative, and open and freeing and everything like that. No, inclusive. Again, I'll say it again. Inclusiveness. Yes. So, um, I'm pretty sure you already guys, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys already know why you're here for today's video because you clicked on this video for a reason. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you join, subscribe down below. If you haven't subscribed, then I'm judging you like I'm judging this brand who we're talking about today. Yes, I'm judging you the same as them. So go ahead and subscribe. If you're red right now, you're wrong. Turn that red subscribe button gray. Okay. Thank you. And give this video a big thumbs up. Share this with people. I just want to give a positive message. I'm going to try to do this as professional as I can. But honestly, like, I'm really, really fed up. Like, I'm a nerve has been strucken, strucketh, strucken, struck, <laughs> whatever. I'm really, I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to post Heath Flawless's video down below as well. He gave a really great message as well. So as most of you already may be able to tell, I'm not a huge YouTuber. I don't have such a huge platform, but I do have a platform. It's been growing fastly, pretty fastly, whatever. And even beforehand, I, if I can reach one or two people, I know that there are multiple to, multitudes of people, different races, colors, everything like that, who watch my channel. So I want everybody to see this and hopefully it'll get into maybe the right hands or, and hopefully this could prevent somebody from making a similar mistake or anything like that in the future or just bring awareness to what's going on right now. So today I will be reviewing a shot. <laughs> the chart. Okay, so today I am gonna be reviewing the tarp shape tape tart. I can't even say it right. Today my mouth don't even want me to say it. My mouth though is bullshit. Tart shape tape foundation is what we're gonna be reviewing today. I'm gonna be demoing it, swatching it, and everything like that for you guys. But that's gonna be in a few minutes. If you wanna see when I get right to that, then go ahead and skip towards that. But I wanna just give like a little message and say something to you guys before I dive into that and get into the nitty gritty, the whole BS behind it. So we can like see what's the real tea on this uninclusive ass foundation. So everybody loves the concealer because it's super full coverage, really light, nice, it looks great on the skin, everything like that. And pretty much almost a lot of people could use it. The concealer obviously did really well, has taken a company like to whole nother levels. They do huge brand trips, take all these like, huge influencers on these like extravagant trips, give them amazing gifts. Their PR packages come in super nice, super luxe, like you know, they're kind of that brand who elevates and goes above and beyond except for when it comes to this foundation range, which is... So fast forward, um, they drop the hints or whatever early, like late December, early January, that they're going to be launching a shark... A <laughs> that they're going to be launching a tart shape tape con foundation. So the concealer, but in a foundation form, which is like, wait. So the concealer is already lit. Now y'all going to go on a foundation for the kids? And y'all come with hydrating and matte? So y'all got two different formulas for the kids? It's like, yes! Like... Everybody was here for it because we didn't expect them to slap every black person or every person of color in the face with this launch, which is exactly what they did. They dropped 30 foundations, 15 each, 15 hydrating, 15 matte. And I'm just going to post pictures of the shade range so you can see either somewhere here or here. So I want you guys to see the shade range so you, or look it up yourselves. There's literally three foundation colors for people of color. Three. And there's about what 12 to 13 or so for white people so just to give you guys a little backstory on the brand itself so tarte is a huge multi-billion dollar company huge makeup company that creates all type of makeup products and skincare products as well they're known for their huge brand trips taking the um influencers on these huge extravagant trips giving them nice expensive gifts and everything like that and going above and beyond in everything that they do packaging is always a1 and whatnot like you know They've been on a pretty good track. They came out with the um, Shape Tape Concealer um, about a year and a half ago, which swept the entire beauty community and everybody. Like, they took scalps with that concealer. Scalps were snatched when that concealer launched, which led them to go ahead and build up to, like, a year and a half, two years later, whatever, after the Shape Tape just swept the makeup community to come out with the Tape Shape Foundation, which, when they dropped the hint of it, like, on Instagram, I believe it was, Everybody was so hyped because it's like when I first heard, I was like, wait, they're going to have tape shape, shape tape. What the hell is this concealer name? They're going to have shape tape foundation. Like the concealer is already like a trending topic. So now we're going to have foundation too. Recently, since Fenty launched her 40 foundations, 
everybody, all makeup brands have been trying to be super inclusive and like say they did it at first or like Upper Rihanna or whatever and do the same thing. So everybody's trying to get on a train now, somewhat. So I'm thinking like in my mind, which I'm pretty sure so many other people thought like, you know, it's hard for to come with it. This foundation is going to be lit. I can't wait to try the Shape Tape foundation is going to be great. You know, like it's going to be lit. And then they posted a picture of the swatches and I was, what the hell is that? Who is that supposed to fit? They made Trump foundation. They pretty much made foundation for the CEOs of the company and they grant cheer on the wear. Not everybody else, not inclusive. No, not for us. Not for us. They put three shades, three deep shades in the whole foundation range. I don't understand how a company can launch 30, pretty much 30 shades because they came out with a hydrating formula and a matte formula and 15 shades each. So you can come out with two different types of formula, but you couldn't take the time to come up with more than three shades for people of darker skin complexion. Three, like... I, Three. I don't under. I'm like really trying to understand. You know, like you know, I'm I'm really here and I'm trying to understand. Like I'm sitting here in my mind. Like I was trying to think. Like Tart. They 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 wouldn't do that. Like Tart wouldn't just suspect. They didn't went through makeup shayla and stuff like that. You know, they, they they can't be prejudiced and racist. Like they can't be. You you know they can't like. Just, they just can't. I know they can't. Like, no, I'm just writing it off. Whatever. Looking at the pictures and then I see the foundation like actually like launch. Like, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, and I'm just like, oh. So y'all were serious, though. Oh, so y'all were serious with these colors. Y'all really meant to disrespect us like this. Like, y'all really were trying to be disrespectful. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So now y'all done jumped the bandwagon. And so now y'all done jumped on this train and disposed y'all selves like the rest of these brands. There are some other brands out there that do the same thing. Tarte isn't the only one. Tarte isn't sing like well, no, we're not gonna single Tarte out in this video. Tarte isn't the only one doing this. It's also along with the Instagram and everything like that. It's brands like Tarte that make it so difficult for people of color to try to elevate in this world and in the makeup community. Like Kenneth said, I've seen it myself. You have all these dark people of color, all these dark skinned, beautiful people working at your events, working at your booths, working at your stuff, but they can't wear your products because you don't make them dark enough for them. You don't make your highlighters and a shade enough that's gonna work for me that won't look like ash on my face. You're a multi-million, billion, I'm pretty sure like a billion dollar company. Tarte Shape Tape made coin. That was the number one concealer of 2017 and you telling me that y'all couldn't to make like at least five more deep shades or maybe not skip, you know, like, you, come on, like really. <laughs> you really couldn't even like give us that. You couldn't even give us five, like. Uh, three? And y'all lost it on Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all didn't notice that. It, Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They sure did. And they disrespected just like so many other makeup brands do with their white wash branding and their Instagram accounts. Go on some of your favorite brands' Instagram accounts. That's homework for y'all for you guys. Go on some of your favorite makeup brands to Instagram accounts and see if you see anybody who looks like you. If you're a person of color, go on these accounts. Go on Tarte Cosmetics account. See how often you see a person of color. We all know that there are bomb makeup artists out there who are, uh, who are of color, who have dark melanin on them, who are just, in general, a black woman or a male. Somebody of color out there being creative and doing work, putting in work and slaying and putting these products to use and making them look the best that they can. But yet, they wanna post people who look like them, who look like the, they wanna post people who look pretty much what society likes, what society sees as good and beautiful and okay and like the norm or whatever. So even if they're subpar, because <laughs> it's not just their Instagram accounts. Go look at their shade ranges of their products. Go to their foundations. If they don't have a foundation at all, go look at the products that they do have. If they don't have highlighters that come in like a gold or bronze type of shade, because that's what works for us, we can't all wear champagne. Champagne on me don't always look right, okay? Ho, ho, I like champagne. The drink not on my cheeks. I look stupid. I look like I just got a white strip on my face. It's 2018. I don't understand why we still have to fight to have a place in a makeup world, in a makeup community, in a beauty community. I don't, I really don't understand why this is such an issue. There are brands out there who are inclusive who are aware, who are woke, who are respectful, and who do, to their, who do their best to try to make sure everybody can get a piece of the pie. LA Girl Cosmetics. They have 33 concealers, 
everybody can wear some of their concealers. I'm pretty sure they got more concealers now. They launched foundations for everybody. NYX, for everybody. Cover FX, I think they're for everybody, I don't know. MAC Cosmetics, <laughs> duh, for everybody. Fenty Beauty, for everybody. 40 shades, sis, on the first launch, and more to come. I'm gonna need Tarte, It Cosmetics, and H&M, and Donald Trump to go ahead and sit over there, okay? Y'all, y'all got them seats over there. Excuse me, can we can we get them escorted out of here, please? The crazy thing about all this is it won't really last long. They're gonna be back. People are still gonna buy their products. They're gonna have supporters. They're still gonna be invited to IMAS, BeautyCon, all these other events and stuff like that. They're still gonna be there because when it comes down to it, they're all about the marketing. All these huge influencers, I've seen some stand up, but there's a few who are gonna be quiet because they like that coin. They like the check that they're gonna get. They like the money that Tarte has for them. Not just Tarte. There's plenty of other makeup brands out there who do the exact same thing. Like I said before, like I like I said before just a few minutes ago, all over social media, you see, if you do see a male, he's white. Yes, he is. I want to know how many of y'all see any males in makeup who look like me. How many? Oh, if you like a reference for my foundation shade, I'm about 430 and Fenty Beauty. How many me's do you see on these big makeup pages, like the Instagram shout out pages and stuff like that? How many me's do you see? How many boys of color in general do you see? He Flawless is popping and he's barely on there. That's not even shade to him at all. But it's like a testament to somebody who has a nice following, a huge following and so much talent. So much talent. But you know what? Like, hmm, they don't care. Nobody cares. The brands don't care. Mm -mm. They would rather pay and have somebody represent their their company and their line a boy who's gonna be more you know what what big black males and makeup do you have on social media right now I, I really i'm really curious how many huge male black influencers are there i'm gonna do a whole other video on that situation but that's what i want to just put in your head that is brands like this like tart who pretty much try to snatch away the opportunities like that really piss me off I mean, it's like, black people don't even wear makeup anyway. Like, they don't even buy that stuff. Like, there's no need to make foundation for them because they're not even gonna wear it. Like, can they even afford it? Like, aren't they on welfare? Can you buy foundation with EBT? I'm curious. This is pretty much what I feel their thought process is. This is what I feel like Tarte was thinking whenever they made this foundation. You can take from our culture and try to make it your own, but you can't take into account that we're people and we matter and we might want to wear some of your products too. So here go this Tarte foundation I got in this white box with this uh, white, purple, and um, pink tissue paper. And, mm -hmm. and when I got the box, I pulled it out like this and the foundation came out like this. So when I got my Fenty box, it was hard as hell to open. I bought that at the mall. It was hard as hell to open the box. It was real sealed tight. So this just kind of slid out like this, you know? So here's the foundation. Um, this is, I'm gonna go ahead and read about it. High performance uh, shape tape matte foundation. It's, it's a matte foundation. And Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Okay. So I picked up the shade Rich Sand because it seemed like it could possibly be the closest to my shade. We'll see. But the, I got it in the matte formula because I'm on the more oily side. So I'm going to go ahead and just try this. It has the same applicator but a bigger version compared to the shape tape. I'm going to just apply this to my face and we're going to see how it works. Okay. I'm gonna blend it out with my Morphe Y6 brush. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. The foundation color is a little bit more on the orangey, reddish Donald Trump side, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really giving me, you know, Make America Great Again vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like that, like... Um, so I've noticed that with my skin tone, I can pull red or golden, depending on whatever. I can, like, a good mix of both is really nice for me. I do like that. So it's not too crazy, and especially if I did, like, a brightening concealer, it wouldn't look that bad. Um, my neck, I have, like, a lot of different discolorations so like that over my upper body, so it's kind of hard for me to match foundation sometimes, but doing, like, a half and half, this side is no foundation, this side is no foundation, it doesn't look too crazy, let me, let me know what you guys think, but it doesn't look too crazy, to be honest. 
it is very matte like this foundation is very very matte very matte and looks really nice i'm really upset because this looks like skin it looks really nice it's wearing pretty nicely so far but there's no way in hell i'm gonna recommend this foundation to anybody i'm not gonna recommend this foundation to any of you guys because there are people out there who are darker than me who have different undertones than me if you have a light if you have a light to neutral undertone this won't work for you and the shade under here is way too light the shade above it is way too red and dark like, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm with Alyssa Ashley on the whole thing of I'm not going to promote something to you guys when I know that not everybody's going to be able to go out and get the product. I'm not going to go in here and say that, oh, it's so bomb and you should go and get it, blah, blah, It has, like, the longest longevity. It didn't crack on me. It didn't do well. I'm not going to go and do that. I'm not going to try that or, like, try the foundation again. I'm actually going to take the foundation back. Let me put her back in the box because... Um, as soon as Ulta come on February 4th, February 4th, my calendar, it's gonna, they're going to be in Ulta. She's going right to Ulta. I already went to, to my local Ulta store and asked them, if I don't like this shit, can I come in there and get my money? They say, yeah. So she'll be back February 4th. I'll be at the door. Here. Like, <laughs> it's honestly really sad because Tart, like, <laughs> you, you took a L. What were you thinking? Like, you're so stupid. Oh. Oh my God. Tasha's so stupid for this. <laughs> Had you just been inclusive like the first time, like it would have been great. Like just been inclusive, kept rocking the same way you did before. Try to post some more black people on your Instagram because you don't do that. You don't do it. You're not the only one though, but you don't do it. You don't post us on there. You don't have us. You you don't. It's, it's okay though. You, we not there. It's okay. It's okay, sis. Don't go buy this shit. Go to NYX. Go to Makeup Forever. Go to Hourglass Cosmetics because they have bomb foundation. It's really dope. I think they have a dope, dope range. Go to LA Girl Cosmetics. Go to LA Colors. LA Colors. Go to them too. Like I'm, there's so many different foundation ranges. Black Opal too as well. Black Up. Like Bobby Brown. Come just visit these other companies who are inclusive and who care about people of color. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share this with somebody. Hopefully you take a positive message out of this video. Do the homework like I gave you guys. And go on these Instagram accounts or pages and fan like brands that you might be supporting. And you don't even know that they aren't inclusive. One of these days I'm just spilling some tea on some things that I know that I've seen and experienced in the past. If you want me to do a video on what it's like to be a black male gay influencer. Then I'll do that video. I would gladly do that video. Hopefully like I can do something like that with Kenneth. Because I feel like we both have... Pretty good intake and some tea on some things that have happened in the beauty and community because we're both uh, black male beauty influencers, but no more. 2018 is <laughs> no more. Progression. That's what we're focused on. Inclusiveness. That's what we're focused on. Being great. Building each other up. Whether you oily or dry as hell, I love you. You're beautiful. You're creative. Be creative. Be free. Be with love. I just hit the hell out of my hand. I love you guys so much. Feel free to check out my other uploads so you don't see me looking like this, looking crazy and stuff like that. Looking like I said, oh, gosh, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, guys.